Hello everyone. So we have already talked about scatter plot. So let's use uh, Excel to plot our uh, scatter plot, right? So we have two values, X and Y. So what do you have to do? You have to do nothing. You have to just select the columns, okay? Uh, X and Y values, okay? Then you need to go to insert. You have to go to insert and you can see here, you can see a scatter. Right, you can use bubble as well, or you can just simply use dots that we need to plot for our scatter. So that's it, guys. So these are values. You can see x values are here on the horizontal axis, and y values are on the vertical axis. Okay, so you can basically write it. Okay, so now uh, you can see we don't have any values here. So you, what you can do. You can go to the axis, just click right. Just a second. Okay, so you have to just choose Y axis. You can choose format axis. Okay, and then minimum value instead of zero, you can see our values are starting above 50 or 60. So you can have a minimum bound for that. You can write 50. That's it, right? Similarly for X axis as well, right? X axis as well, you can go to format axis, just a second. Right, you'll go to format axis and you can see our values are starting from five. So we do you no know, need to keep this area blank. What we'll do, minimum bound, we can write it as four and then we'll press enter. So you can see your plot, scatter plot is looking good now. You can uh, give title to your chart as well. So uh, isn't it very easy to plot a scatter using Excel, right? And you can copy the scatter plot um, in your workbook or in your uh, Word document or your presentation to explain about your data set, right? So that's it.